Okay, this is a question about a mixing chamber. Sorry about that dog making noise, but we'll, we'll gloss over that small issue. So let's read the question. So two streams of water are mixed together in a tank and leave as a single stream. Stream 1 enters the tank at 25 degrees with a flow rate of 0.3 kilograms per second. Stream 2 enters at 800 degrees with a flow rate of 0.4 kilograms per second. Both streams are at a pressure of 1 megapascal. So what is the state and the temperature of the outlet stream? Uh, assume stream 3 is also at 1 megapascal. Okay, so let's draw a diagram of a mixing chamber. So we have two pipes coming in, some sort of chamber, and then we have everything going out. And I just always draw direction arrows. Okay, so we're told that stream one enters at 25 degrees uh, with a flow rate of, so I'll call that mass flow one, uh, 0.3. Stream 2 enters at 800, and this is water, so remember, um, so we, we can use our data tables for this question. Okay, and with a flow rate of 0.4, okay, flow rate of 0.4, both streams are at a pressure of 1 megapascal, okay, this is useful information, so I always convert to kilopascals, because it's easier to use the tables with. And what is the state and temperature of the outlet? And assume that the stream 3 is also 1 megapascal. Okay. And this is mass flow 3. Unknown. So, that, so uh, really in this question they want us to find um, enthalpy enthalpy 3 they want us to find. So if we write a energy balance equation, it's steady state, so it's equal to 0, mass flow rate multi mass flow rate 1 multiplied by enthalpy 1 plus mass flow rate 2, enthalpy 2, and then this is subtract from mass flow rate 3, enthalpy 3. Now, we don't have mass flow rate 3, so we can write a uh, mass balance equation. So mass 3 is mass flow rate 1 plus mass flow rate 2. So we can substitute this in for uh, number 3, mass flow rate 3. Now we can also look up our tables at this point. So H1 equals, so we've got 1,000 kilopascals. So consult your table, 1000 kilopascals at 25 degrees. All right, so it's compressed because it's below the saturation temperature. So we're gonna have to get out our compressed liquid formula for H, so H1. So the compressed liquid formula is H, H equals HF at T plus Vf at T, multiplied by P pressure minus pressure at saturation temperature. So, we can uh, go to, okay, so we're given 25 degrees as, as the temperature, so we can now go to that on our data table, 25 degrees, and we can see that Hf is 104.83. This is plus VF, 0.001003. And this is multiplied by the pressure, so 1,000 minus the pressure at uh, T, which is 3.1698. Now, Where's my calculator? Here it is. Okay, let's put it in the calculator. 104.83 plus 0 .00, 0 0.001003 multiplied by this pressure difference. 
equals, so we now know that H1 equals 105.829. Okay, now H2, uh, H2 from stream 2 is, is that a thousand kilopascals? And the so okay, and this is at 800 degrees this time, so we know that it's a superheated vapor. So we get to our thousand kilopascal superheated water area, go to 800 degrees, and we can see that H equals four four one five six point one. Now, from that, we can sub everything in there and everything in there, leaving H3, what we want. Okay, so zero equals uh, 0 0.3 multiplied by 105.829 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by 4156.1. Okay, now this is the, um, where we use our mass balance. So we put M1. Oh hang on, sorry, we know we know that. So this is equal to 0.7. Because M1 plus M2 equals M3, so M3 is 0.7. Okay? And then we multiply by H3. Now so we can put these in our calculator and get some numbers. 0 0.3 multiplied by 105.829. So we have 31.7487 plus 0 0.4, 4156.1. Okay, 44. Four. And then we have this bit here. Ah. Mistakes are being made. That should be a minus. Because we're taking off that. That should be a minus. Because it's flowing out of the system. Okay, sorry about that. So we can write that H3 multiplied by 0 0.7. Zero. All right, let's subtract these to the other side. So 31. Point 7487 plus 1662.44 is 1694.18. So we have minus that on the other side. This is equal to negative H3 multiplied by 0.7. So if I do one uh, negative one six nine four point one eight eight seven divided by point seven I get negative two thousand four hundred and twenty point two six equals minus H three, then we just divide both sides by negative one and we get this for H three. Now the question asked um what is the state and the temperature of the outlet stream? Okay, well we know that the outlet stream is at a thousand kilopascals. So we're going to go back to our tables now. Look up a thousand. And 2420. Alright, and that is in the uh, saturated mixture range. So therefore, it's a sat mix. And the temp equals 179.88 degrees.